Hey Dr. Shrikant, my relative complains of discharge from nipple. Is this a worrisome sign? Nipple discharge is the third most common symptoms patient presents to us at OPD. There are various kinds of nipple discharges. The physiological nipple discharge is the milk and uh, anything other than milk secretion is considered as pathological. Patients can complain that there is a yellow color, straw color fluid coming out from the nipple or there is a discharge of pus. Sometimes this yellow colored fluid might be mixed up with blood or there can be frank blood discharge also. There are various factors which we need to consider before evaluating this. We need to see what is the kind of discharge, the quantity and whether it is present in the single side of the breast or both sides of the breast. And we also should look about with associated features like if there is any mass present in the breast or if there is any skin changes like ulcer or any discoloration of the skin or any itching over the nipple area. So all these associated factors also should be looked after. So based on these findings, then we will be further evaluating the nipple discharges. Most of the times, nearly 80% these nipple discharges are non-cancerous related. It can be just a small infection or for any benign conditions of the breast. Only 5 to 15% of the times they can be related with the cancer condition. So how do you evaluate this nipple discharges? When a patient presents with nipple discharge, first the clinician will be examining the breast for presence of any lumps in the breast or in the axilla. After that, we will be going for investigations like we will be taking the whatever the discharge is coming from the breast that will be collected and on a slide and will be examined under a microscope to look for any oncological cells if present there is a special test called as a ductoscopy where a small camera will be inserted through the nipple area through the ducts to look for any pathology and we can also ask for some investigations in the form of a mammogram or ultrasound to look for any lumps which or any precancerous conditions or cancerous conditions present which could have been missed out clinically in a non-palpable cases. So based on the findings of all these things, the further treatment management will be discussed.